The Fort Lauderdale Elder Care Channel is brought to you by Sidney Shigani and the great folks from right at home of Broward County. Today's guest is William Forbes from the Broward County Talking Book Library. Welcome to the Fort Lauderdale Elder Care Channel. My name is Sidney Chigani. I'm your host today. And today we have William Forbes from Broward County Talking Books Library. Welcome, William. Thank you, Sidney. Thank you for having me here. Oh, it's our pleasure. Thank you. I look forward to our discussion today to help our viewers get a better understanding of what the Talking Books Library is and who is eligible. Could you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. The Talking Books Library is a free government program that is sponsored by the Library of Congress. We're a division of the Library of Congress called the National Library Service. The Talking Books Library is, uh, once again, it's a free nationwide program. It's for anybody who cannot use regular print materials because of vision loss, vision impairment, physical disability where they cannot hold a regular book, or reading disability. To get this service, the, everybody has to fill out an application, and the application has to be signed by a certifying authority such as a doctor or a nurse, social worker, home health aide, somebody who can certify that the applicant cannot use regular print materials anymore. Once, everybody, once somebody gets signed up, everybody gets a machine in the mail, just like this. The machine comes from our big regional library in Florida for talking books in Daytona Beach. And that comes in the mail for free. Once again, everything about this program is free the machine, the books, the postage. There are no due dates with the books. We just ask that you return the books when you're done so that other people have a chance to enjoy them as well. And the books come in these blue cases just like this. And then you just take it out, you open it, and then you have a book, and then you just put it in the machine, turn the machine on, and then press the play button, and then listen to the book. It's very simple and very straightforward. And then when you're done with the book, you just put it back in the case. And there will be a mail card here at the front. You just turn the mail card over so that the library's name and address faces out. Put it in your mailbox or give it to your mail carrier, and we will get it back. With this service, the vast majority of our customers never come into the library. They get all their material in the mail because every day we mail at least two, sometimes three or four hundred of these books to everybody, and then we get roughly about the same amount back every day. So again, you never have to come into the library with this service. You're more than welcome to, but if you're not able to, that's fine as well. You will get your books and material in the mail. I'm curious, William, mm -hmm. can they or, um, order two or three books at a time? Oh, definitely. We have some people that like to get five or six books at a time or more because they just like to read and read and read. Other people just want one or two a week because it takes them a little bit longer to get through them. So yeah, it can be set however you like. The most important thing, once again, it's a free service, but you do need to make sure that you do return the books when you're done with them just so other people have a chance to enjoy them. Yep. So you can get, if you want one or two at a time, that's fine. If you want to get five or six at a time, that can be done as well. And if you're sending out three or four hundred, you've probably got thousands and thousands of this. These yes, things. we have a lot of them here in our library here in Fort Lauderdale. But we also can get books from our other lot talking books libraries in Florida because we all work together. So if somebody here in Fort Lauderdale or in Broward County wants a book that we don't have available here in Broward County. We can request it from Miami, if Miami has a copy, or Palm Beach, or most likely our big talking books library up in Daytona Beach, because they have thousands more than we do. So we all work together. One thing I have to add is that unfortunately not every book that gets written in hardback gets put onto a talking book. They do do a lot of them up in Washington, make them into talking books, but unfortunately it's not every book that gets written. But they do do all the bestsellers and current events, so they do do lots of books, but just unfortunately not every one of them. Great. Um, William, could you tell us how long has the talking books been in existence? The National Talking Books Program started in 1931. The Broward County Talking Books Library, where I am, started about roughly about 40 years ago. 
Um, and once again, this is a national service. So even if you're not living here in Broward County, you're living in any of the 50 states or territories, you, and you cannot use regular print materials, you can get the talking books. And even if you are living in the United States temporarily and are not a citizen of the United States, while you are here in the United States, you can still get the service if you cannot use regular print materials. This is a great service. Um, oh, thank you. There must thank be you. so many people who are vision impaired and they, they could really use this. Yes, yes, there are. Um, yeah, because I've told people about it and they said, oh, I didn't even know this existed. And they will take an application for somebody they know, a friend or a family member who likes to read but has a hard time doing so now. So yes, it is a great service and we hear that every day from our customers on the telephone. Wonderful. Could you please define for our audience the market area? Well, we just talked about that. You, you can be anywhere in the United States and, right. and you can have, you can order these books. Right. Okay. right. Could you tell us about your typical clients? Uh, is there a profile for them? Our typical client is would be an older adult. I don't have an exact age, but I would say over the age of 50. Most of our clients have lost their sight due to some reason or are vision impaired as they have gotten into adulthood and can no longer use regular print material anymore. And they've always enjoyed reading. They're just not able to do so anymore with regular books. But I want to stress that this service is for all ages, from the smallest children up through the oldest adults. So, but most of the clients we serve are adults who have lost their sight or have vision impaired in, as, in later adulthood. Gotcha. Uh, William, without using actual names, can you think of a particular case? Uh, what do your customer had to go through or your client and how you were able to help them? Well, I can't think of any particular cases of where somebody had to go through something per se, but one thing we hear every day which is so satisfying on the telephone when we're talking to our customers is they just want to thank us for the wonderful service that we provide and they tell us how much they enjoy reading but they can't read anymore and I always say well you're still reading it's just a different style of reading and just hearing that every day makes everything worthwhile just know that people are getting the books and enjoying them and that we are helping them hearing that makes makes my day and that's very satisfying. Yeah, I can imagine. Yes, uh, thank you goes a long way. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Is there anything else you can tell our audience about your service and what you do differently compared to others? Well, one thing about our service that's different than if somebody went into a regular Broward County library, which we are part of regular, regular, regular Broward County library system, although we are talking books, if somebody checks out CDs, for example, from one, any one of the Broward County libraries, they have to go into the library to get them and they have to be back by a specific date or they'll be charged overdue fees. With this service, everything comes in the mail for our customers and they're never charged any late fees. They need to return them just so everyone has a chance to enjoy them. But with this service, there are no late fees. Everything about this is free and everything comes in the mail. Once again, the only thing to get the service, it ha you have to be qualified or be eligible, <clears throat> meaning you cannot use regular print anymore because of vision impairment, vision loss, physical disability, or reading disability. And you have to have your application signed by somebody to certify that. Somebody like a doctor or a nurse, a certifying authority. Okay. Well, William, I have one last question for you. Okay. Is there anything else you'd like to say or share with our audience about your services and how you can be reached? I would like to give our phone number. Our telephone number for Broward County Library Talking Books is 954-357-7555 and we are open from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday. If you call over the weekend or when we are closed, we have voicemail so you can leave us a message and we will return your call. The website for the National Talking Books Library Program or the National Library Service, which is the division of the Library of Congress who administers this program, is www.loc.gov slash nls. And that is a wonderful website that offers lots of information about the Talking Books Program 
you can download an application from that website and print it and mail it back to us. Or if you call us at the number that I mentioned for Broward County Talking Books, we will be happy to send you an application and an envelope that is already stamped so you don't have to supply any postage. And all you have to do is fill it out, have it certified, and mail it back to us. You folks have made it so easy. No stamps, free postage. Even when they return the books, it's free. You even supply the machine. You even supply the headphones, I understand. Um, that's a great service you're oh, doing. Thank you. Thank you. Well, this is Sydney Trigani, your host on the Fort Lauderdale Elder Care Channel, and we're so glad to have William Forbes from Broward County Talking Books Library. Thank you, William. Oh, you're welcome. It was my pleasure. See you next time. Mm -hmm.